Okay, so I'm using scrap pieces of wood. These help make my circles when I'm doing my door rounds. So I'm using scrap pieces of wood to cut out each of the numbers. I use a piece of vinyl and then I put um, a Mod Podge over top of it just to kind of hopefully hold it there in, in, in its space. Um, one of these days, you know, I'm gonna have a, um, just like I'm gonna have a truck, one of these days I'm gonna have a laser cutter, but until I do, me and my scroll saw, and I feel good about the scroll saw, like, you know, I can't say a laser did this for me, but I did it myself. So we're gonna go ahead and get these numbers cut out. So these next couple of steps, I am taking off the vinyl that I used as my guide when I was cutting on the scroll saw. And as you can see, it's coming off pretty easy. So I um, just wanted to make sure, again, that it was on there for when I needed to cut. From here, I'm going to go ahead and sand each of those pieces to make sure that it's nice and smooth and ready to accept the um, spray paint that I have to do and I forgot to record me spray painting but as you can see I did spray paint um, and from here I'm just using some wood glue and I like to put my fingers in the wood glue but I'm using the tape as my guide to make sure I have a straight line and then I glue those down and give that an opportunity to dry. From here, I am trying edge banding for the first time. It's something that you can get from Amazon and it's in the description box below just to kind of give it a more finished look. Um, it has an adhesive underneath that you can use an iron. So you can use a regular iron. I'm just using my Cricut Mini, which will also be in the description box below just to kind, to, to kind of seal it down to the edges of the um, wood round and here you can see that I am sanding off the extra pieces. I did use a razor blade to kind of trim it down and from here I go into adding the decorations. This stays down. Um, this particular we're going to call her customer but this is her. She's moved into a new house so this is actually going to be my housewarming gift to her so um, and she wanted it exactly like my one that's on Etsy and in my Procrast creation shop so I was hoping I could do something different but she not let me <laughs> So we're going to do it the way she wants it because she is the customer. She is the customer. So let's we'll do that. And I'm still going to play with that, but I'm going to go ahead and staple this down. on here we can do a little bit more playing around with that so you can see you didn't need like a whole lot of leaves in that and then like I said she wants it exactly like she saw on the website so we're just gonna make a bow that has this like that right there so I'm going to cut myself some pieces here. This is about, what, eight inches or so? Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's close, nine inches. Um, 
So I'm just gonna cut a few of these, maybe like four, three or four. what this looks like so um, basically what I did with this was like I roll them together and then I just make sure I got enough movement where I can do like that but I roll them together and then staple them down so like I'll staple this first one over all of those end stems typically like to put two staples in and then I will roll I will staple around those so I want to staple of course where I don't cover up the numbers too much so I'm probably gonna do one more see and you gotta make sure you grab everything or that'll be a no go. You won't be able to like your products. So, this is what we have so far. And I may even just. this time like this mix it up a little bit it's almost enough right there I almost just want to do like a twist see how I did that so I just took two, folded it over on itself like this, and then I'll stick it in here. Gotta figure out where I wanna stick it. I'll stick it in here like this. Last thing that I'm gonna do is put a hanger on it. Ooh, so this will be interesting to see how the, the eye screws go through. All right, so for this, I typically try to find the center and just offset it by one or two inches, depending on how big the round is. And as you can see, that's what I'm doing. So I'm just screwing down. Just like this. Until all you see is that loop there. And so like I went off of that four. So I'm going to go off of this um, four on the other side. Here. And basically do the same thing. Sometimes this is hard to catch and my husband's eyes like you need to do a little a little hole in there beforehand, but I'm stubborn and I think that in my 
waning hand strength that I can do this. <laughs> and so I keep trying until I do it because I can't be proven wrong <laughs> on this. And I get it down in there. Sometimes I gotta twist and turn and turn and twist until I have my two there. And then all I do is take some jute, double it up. I put the two ends together. This is probably too long, but I put the two ends together and then I need you to see this. So I take those two ends, I put them through one of the eye screws and then I have this situation going on. I take the two strings and pull them through the hole that I've made. We now have a nice little secure loop. Um, and then on the other side, I put the two strings in again. So I've done this again. And then I kind of decide how long I want it. So here, I'm gonna kind of make it a little short because I don't want the jute to be seen over and then from here i just kind of tie a knot so i tie a knot like this tie it down tightly and two and then you see i have just that little hanger there so i tie it down tightly what i like to do just for my own peace of mind is drip just a little bit of hot glue I say just a little bit, that seems like a lot, won't it? But just a little bit of hot glue, and then I tie it again before that hot glue dries. Tighten it down where you have that, and then I just cut off the extra. Well, bam, look at that gorgeousness. Thank you all for watching. If you love this video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, and always watch the next video and see what else you can make. Can't wait to meet you there.